Man, my keys to success is really just hard work, um, inspiration, and just perseverance. It's really, you can't really do anything without those three key ingredients, man. You got to have the inspiration, and you got to have a work ethic. And, um, you know, you're going to go through trials and tribulations, but you have to, you have to know how to overcome it. Just seeing how you have people who look like me or we come from the same background and, you know, you see them transcending to heights that people have never seen before. You, you know, we went from, you know, just people on the microphone or just DJing at a party or something to now owning sports teams to making making a, a real uh, imprint in the business world and in and, and other cultures. So it's just like one of those things, man. Like this is this is something that that look that reflects me and I just want to be a part of it. So whether it's through music, video production, you know, whatever I got to do to be a part of it, I just want to be a part of it. Uh, I've made a lot of sacrifices to get to where I'm at. I mean, a lot of social activities that, you know, a lot of people engage in. I just don't have time for it because I'm in a studio or I'm on a video shoot somewhere or I'm, you know, somewhere plotting and, and just trying to make it happen. So I basically just made uh, the decision that this is what I want and I'm not going to let anything get in my way. I'm just going to go for it. Two of my biggest things that stick out for me right now is um, opening up for I Am Sue um, and opening up for Jada Kiss and the Locks. It's like, especially that right there. I mean, Jada Kiss and the Locks have, are legendary. I mean, I don't think, do I need to say anything more. If you don't know who the Locks is, Google it. <laughs> you know, if you don't know who Jada Kiss is, Google it. But just to have that honor of, uh, uh, of basically being on the same on the same uh, bill as them and, and just getting the love from the crowd and just getting the, the opportunity, you know, to even get my music out there and be heard on that in the same venue in the same air as those legends is just it's a like nothing short of a blessing. And that's to me, that's like one of my greatest accomplishments, of, uh, along with um, opening up for I Am Sue, you know, who were both from the same place from uh, Richmond, California, just to see somebody get to that height, to that level. Um, and to, for me to be able to share the stage with them was just, you know, like again, bl another blessing. I want to be remembered as somebody who helped push the culture forward, whether it's a, a, a big push or and just some, some kind of way. I want to be remembered as someone who really pushed the envelope, uh, who, who kind of went outside of the, the norm and, and, you know, just made people, you know, have good memories and, um, you know, really just just pushed it. Just really made other artists inspired to to want to do something just a little bit better. You know, or just a little bit different, or maybe even open up another kid's mind. Like I don't have to do everything the cookie cutter way. I don't have to do things the way the industry says, the way that you know society says. I can step outside the box and create my own lane. So, you know, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, if if that can be my legacy, I think I'll you know I'll be satisfied.